Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, some not so great news that we got out of training camp today. Makai Becton was taken out of practice yesterday, missed practice today due to a knee injury. It's the same injury to the knee that he injured last year. Robert Sala answered some questions about it, so let's take a listen to the clip and come back on the other side. Uh, Makai's uh, uh, knee just uh, wasn't wasn't up for it today, so we uh, we just held him back. Is that going to be long, longer than today, or do you think it's I, I don't think so. Um, we'll see. It's going to be more day-to-day, but uh, hoping we can get back out there tomorrow. Is that the same knee? Same knee. Is that something that you guys kind of anticipated that they couldn't kind of happen? Yeah. Um, you know, we're all we're trying to pace it, trying to get him back up to full speed where he can play an entire game. And... Uh, you know, so we're just working with him. It's the doctors, our training staff, and coaches is trying to make sure we do the best we can to get him ready to play play a football game. So this was something that the Jets sort of expected. That's why Makai Becton is on a pitch count. But I'll be honest, hearing that he's got knee issues or injury issues or some sort of you know pain that was preventing him from actually practicing today doesn't really give me the warm and fuzzies after seeing what's happened the last two and a half years. So I really hope all the hard work that Becton's been putting in is actually going to help his knee, the weight. I mean, he's down 50 pounds. He's like down a third of a human. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of weight. So hopefully that starts to, to rear its head. We did see Becton, or we didn't see Becton, we heard reports of Becton doing up-downs at the end of practice. So it seems like he's at the very least like mobile and it's not, you know, overly bad. Uh, Salah doesn't seem too concerned about it, but I'll be honest, I, I it's hard for me to give Becton the, the benefit of the doubt after these last few years. And there's no player that I want to pan out more than Makai Becton for this season. I mean, you, you talk about an offensive line as the the part of the Jets team that really seems to give fans the, the biggest pause for concern with Aaron Rodgers. You know, he's he's back there. Don't want him getting a whole bunch of shots. And our offensive line last year going through six offensive tackles or whatever we were going through last season. You know, you want to see more consistency along that front line. Hopefully that makes the running game better and everything just kind of flows nice and smoothly. But Becton, in a contract year, this guy's going to ball out. And we've heard rumors of, like, you know, maybe Becton might get traded or something along those lines. I really hope that's not the case. I don't want to see Becton traded. I think he's got that that chip on his shoulder. Now, I don't know if he's going to be here for the long, long term. Maybe he's just done with this coaching staff. Maybe, you know, who, who knows? I'm speculating there for sure but i i want to see him on the field i want to see him start throwing people around like we saw in his rookie year i want to see that again (laughs) it's like you just saw andrew thomas get a monster contract from the giants and that's where i want becton to eventually get to i want him to make a ton of money because he has proven all his doubters wrong and i hope we get to see him at camp tomorrow i'll actually i'll be at camp tomorrow kind of fun thank you richie for uh, hooking me up with a ticket. Myself and my little co-pilot uh, will be over there tomorrow. So guys, let me know your thoughts on the Makai Becton injury being held out of practice. Do you think this is just precautionary? Do you think there's something more going on here? What do you think about the long-term outlook as far as Becton and the New York Jets? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, go Jets. Go Jets!